aware of if you're thinking about buying a foreclosure. Here to help us navigate is Danielle Babb. She is the author of Finding Foreclosures and she joins us from Irvine, California. Danny, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. All right, let's start with, you know, Antonio. He bought an REO, but you can also buy at auction. Which is better? Mm -hmm. I would say either the pre-foreclosure stage or the REO stage. At auction, you, have, you run the risk of needing to bring in either hard money, in other words, cash to buy the home, or a very large down payment and pre-qualification, which is really tough with banking standards these days. Yeah, I, that bringing that cash to the auction can be a little intimidating, <laughs> a very big check in your pocket. Exactly. Let's talk about where to look for these a little bit, about how to know that that investment is going to pay off. What are the signs? What are you looking for? What's the research you got to do? Well, there's several things that I'm looking for when I'm, look, when I'm trying to find foreclosures or helping others. First of all, I look at, is, is the home in a low crime area? This is very important for resale later on and to make sure it will maintain its value. Um, are jobs in the area, are they about the, the same as the national unemployment rate or is it Detroit, for example, and it's significantly higher? There's a much greater risk there. Um, what's the trend in the area? Has it been keeping up? If, if the national, national um, decrease, say, in home value has been 10%, the area you're looking at is 20%, that's a flag that it could be a little mm. bit more risky. Um, also, you want to see if pay is keeping up with inflation in the area. Are big companies moving in or out? Uh, are baby boomers moving in or out? Because they're going to play a significant role in what's trending, on, trending in the next 10 to 15 years. And then one thing to look for that not a lot of people are aware of is whether or not there's a tenant living there. Because once someone moves out, if it's going to be 30 to 60, 90 days before the, the bank actually takes ownership of the right. home, some people are moving tenants in to try and earn income wow. during that period yeah, of time. Yeah, now that's a complication you don't want to have to deal with. No. Okay, let's drill down. Where mm -hmm. do you want to buy? What areas satisfy the kinds of uh, uh, prerogatives that you were just talking about? Great locations, low crime, et cetera. Where would you go? I would go to uh, the Orange, Orange County, California, particularly Mission Viejo. I would go to Las Vegas. I know it's been, it's been battered by foreclosures and by low prices, but the jobs there, the number of jobs being created are very high. Mm -hmm. I would look in Florida, but I'd be very careful. I'd stay out of Miami, but I would look in Tampa and I would look in Palm Beach. And I would definitely look at Central Texas, at everything Dallas and North of Austin and Round Rock, for example. All right, uh, you know, everybody is asking me about foreclosures and how to buy them. Where can I send mm -hmm. them on the web? What are good websites to go to if you're deciding this morning, hey, I'm going to look for a foreclosure property? Yeah, RealtyTrack.com is my favorite. It's a partner uh, with, with my author my author and I, my co-author and I have partnered with them. You can get a, a good deal three months free from my website at DrDanielleBab.com. You can go to RealtyTrack.com directly, uh, R-E-A-L-T-Y-T-R-A-C.com. They have excellent deals. You can okay. also go to the county's recorder office for each of the counties that you're looking at buying property in. Well, you know, and that brings up a whole different question, which is mm -hmm. this. Aren't the laws about this different in every state? And what do you mm. need to know about any, like, legal hang-ups you could get into with this? Because it sounds like it, it mm. could be difficult and tricky. Yeah, there are some legal hang-ups. First of all, every state is either a judicial state or a non-judicial judicial state. That means that the foreclosure proceeding goes through the courts, judicial, mm. or, or it does not go through the court. Now, if it goes through the courts, there's, there are a lot more checks and balances that occur. For example, there's a lot more um, checking to make sure there aren't smaller liens against the property that aren't showing up on a title search, like a mechanics lien. Someone goes in and repairs the home, the, the owner never pays the bill, and they record a lien against the property. Those are things that can come back later, and they, they will become the responsibility of the owner. So in some ways, it helps to have a, have a court proceeding. The downside, of course, of, is that it can take a lot longer to actually move into the home. Uh, when you go right. through the courts. Yeah. Okay, you know, I know you think it's important to have a home inspection. Can you always get mm -hmm. access to the house and get in for that inspection? No. no, you can't. And that's one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of auctions. You often don't have an opportunity to view anything other than the outside. Now, if it's bank owned or if it's pre foreclosure, in the pre foreclosure state, you can actually save the homeowner from foreclosure and even get the best deal. But then you have an opportunity to do a full inspection and even go back to the bank a second time and say, hey, there's $20,000 worth of repairs. We may have agreed for at $150,000, but now I really want this home for $130,000 because, you know, right. I have to put twenty grand into Definitely. it. Definitely. It's all about the price you pay. Danny, thanks so right. much. Great information. Really appreciate it. Good. Thanks. Still ahead on Open House, home renovations that pay. We'll tell what upgrades 